Hey there guys. Hope everybody's doing well today. It's Wednesday. We are preparing for yet another weather situation here in Florida. Um, but I still wanted to get out um, a quick video for you guys. Um, I had plans to do a totally different video, but I'm actually debating on whether or not I'm even going to do that tutorial because it's a technique that I came up with myself. Um, and I kind of want to keep it to myself for now, which is unusual for me. I normally share everything. Anyway, so we're going to do something fun. I've never done retro cane with you guys. I'm sure you've seen it. And if not, then this will be fun for you. But I'm going to do a little something different with it. Um, and let's get into it. So... I need to find my blade. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to put you on pause. Hold on. Okay. I have no idea where my blade went, but I have another one. So anyway, um, so what I did was I rolled all these four colors. I have gold, copper, black, and white. Um, rolled them out onto a two. Um, and then I cut them out with uh, just a round cutter one that's about the size of your extruder so and i did seven of each of them um not that that's any kind of magic number that's just what i did and kind of what i normally do because it seems to be what fits when you stack them up so i am using the square in my extruder and put that on and then I just start stacking up my colors. Now, when I do mine, I don't do any kind of pattern. So, I'm, But I do want to make sure that for each little set, um, there is each color. So the first set that I go around, I'm just going to do one of each. So like that. And then I might go like this. And then I, like I said, I just don't do a pattern. I just kind of grab whatever because I want it to be kind of random and cool looking. So I will mix it up. <clears throat> okay so that's the extent of that just kind of smush it together a little bit roll it up a little bit but you can see that it's a little random then I'm going to stick it in here. I've obviously I could have done more, but I'm fine with this. And then put my thing in there. I guess I should have. Let me do that first. One thing with your extruder, this one is my favorite, and I think I got it at Joann's, either Joann's or Michael's. Um, but I like this one. It's really easy. I don't like the push kind because they're super difficult. Um, like the syringy type ones. This one is a crank and it works great. Um, but make sure that you will always have this little plastic piece, this or rubber, I don't know, it's probably plastic, um, in the little groove right here. Otherwise, when you go to push, um, all of the clay will just come back into here and it won't all extrude. So just make sure that you have that in there. Um, because I have seen some extruders that don't have that and then it's just a, a mess and you've wasted a bunch of clay. Or well, not really wasted, but you're not doing what you wanted to do with it. That's for sure. All right, so tie that up, get that on there tight and then just crank it out.
There we go. And just because this is a crank doesn't mean it's 100% easy because it's not. So just crank it all the way. Till you're at the bottom. Blade. Oh, there's my blade. Oh, I just happened to look over. Found it. And the end is going to be a little messy like that, and that's okay. Put this over here. Get this tape off of here. I'm going to cut this little yucky part off. But you can see that that's how it looks on the inside. So I am going to show you a little bit. But get your um, get your piece straight, and then I am going to cut it in half. <laughs> or attempt to anyway. I'm going to cut this little piece off. You can see how that looks in there. And then it's going to be different. That side, the copper is in the middle. This side, black is in the middle. <clears throat> and that's because of the random, um, the random thing that I did. So I'm going to cut them in half again, and in half again. So they're almost like one inch little pieces. So then with each of these. I'm going to cut these in half. And then I'm going to open them up and lay them next to each other. Actually, I'm going to wait because I'll do that at the end because I want it kind of random. But you can see the cool little patterns that are on the insides of these. And you can play around with which, that was a little thin, um, which way you want to cut it because you can cut it on this side or you can flip it and turn it on its other side. So whatever, whatever side you like. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of lay these out next to each other, and I'm going to do kind of a back and forth. Um, situation here. And I'm going to go this way. Squeeze that in. Oops, something stuck in there. I think I'm gonna actually cut this one again and this one. Oh, that's what happened. That one's stuck on there. But well, no, I'll leave this one. So you can do how, whichever pattern you would like, obviously. Um, this is just how I'm doing mine. Although I am going to cut that one again. I 
Ugh. Apparently I'm not. Oh well. Okay. All right. We'll save that for something else. All right, so I'm going to roll this out flat a little bit. And I am going to be putting it through the pasta machine. But I do want to make sure that all of my spaces are nice and stuck together before I do that. So make sure that all your pieces are together. And I'm actually going to cut this off also. So I'm going to start and roll this out on a zero, which is my thickest setting. And I'm going to roll it, I'm going to roll it this way. So that way on a zero. And I don't think it's going to do much because I think it's thinner than a zero. And it did not. So I'm going to go ahead and go to one. And then two. And it's still kind of not. I'm going to go ahead and do a three. There we go. That one caught. Okay. So it did schmarm it out a little bit, but you still have your patterns like that. So let me just show you closer, sorry. Uh, it's still a little bit not together, so I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. But you can see how that pattern looks kind of cool. I'm going to flip this over and make sure it sticks. So that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, we should be pretty good. It might be a little bit weird there, but okay. All right, so I'm just gonna cut my pieces. And what do I want? I lost my hair there. <laughs> Lost my cutters. I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do little earrings because that's my favorite. And I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to do one of these because I like this too. So I'll do that. So that looks like that. And I will fix that up and somehow get that out and then cut some of these. That's me blowing that out. <laughs> Sometimes I find that easier than having to poke it out. Sometimes when you poke it out, they get distorted, and so I just blow them out. So those will be cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this one up. Um, and I think I might take, where was my, where did that piece go? Hmm, I think it might have been this. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and bake these 275 for 35 minutes, and I'll be back to show you what they look like. Okay, I'm back. So I went ahead and resined these. I baked them, and they are resined. 
so they're all nice and shiny. And I just wanted to show you some new new um, techniques for finishing stuff up. So with this, I have some leather cord. I believe this is one millimeter leather cord. And I'm going to kind of fold it in half. And I'm going to go in through the back. And you're going to separate put it all the way through but you're going to separate and you're going to go through two more times one two actually I didn't need to do two so go in one more time after you've gone through and then when you pull it through You'll have a cooler version of just the single one. It's not cooperating with me, of course, because I'm on camera, but normally I do this with ease. But it does a double up loop. You just kind of got to work it, but it does a double up loop. And it just looks a little bit nicer than the... Um, just the typical single one. So you have your double here. Like that. So there's that. And then I may I came up with some new ear wires. Um, this is 20 gauge uh, wire. And you want to make a big loop. Oh, just pinched myself. A big loop here on the bottom. Why is this being weird? Okay. Uh, a wider gauge loop here at the bottom go all the way around and then kind of bring it back so that you have your loop make sure this is closed off I'm having a hard time seeing and then from there you're gonna take your paintbrush as I always do and loop it around so this is going to be your ear wire. So I'm going to trim this excess off. When you trim it off, you want it to be a little below this. So I'm going to trim it off right here. And then I'm going to put my little bend in there on the bottom. And I've already put the jump rings on this. So just open one up. And then put it through there. So it's just a little bit different of a look for ear wires than I've shown you before. So that's how it's going to look. Like so. So just a new little thing to try. I'll do it again just in case you didn't see it. And I'll talk while I'm doing it. Um, so if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you are not part of the Happy Place Facebook group, go ahead and um, subscribe to that as well, um, or join us anyway. We do have a lot of fun. I do allow you to um, obviously show your work that is encouraged, um, but you can promote your business, your websites, all that fun stuff, um, provided that it is a homemade, homemade, handmade um it's your stuff, and it's not something that's been purchased from somewhere else. Um, so, yeah, I will have the link in the description for that. So, please join that. And then all of the things that I use are on my Amazon store, um, which I will have a link to that in the description as well. Um, since I haven't touted this in a while, my content is free. But if you feel like giving me a little tip, to provide more free content, just hit that thanks button and I would greatly appreciate it. So, here are the earrings with those cute little findings. There you go, guys. 
So I hope you enjoyed and you might see me tomorrow, but I'm not sure with the hurricane and everything else. So um, have a great day. See you soon. Bye.